Hello and good morning. My name is Carol Taylor and I'm a registered dietitian. In this very short video, I'm gonna do my best to talk about important topics regarding heart health since it is February. And in February, we like to talk about heart health. So stress, salt, fat, exercise, all four have a major impact on how our heart works and how hard it has to work. We don't wanna make our hearts work too much in terms of creating more resistance for healthy blood flow. Exercise does encourage a strong heart, healthy blood flow, um, but too much fat, too much salt has a negative impact. So we wanna be mindful of how much we eat on our plate on a day-to-day -day basis. We want to eat, um, we need salt for flavor. So we wanna eat salt, um, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, they all contain salt, sodium, but in quantity, in less quantities than you would find in say fast food or frozen goods, canned goods, packaged goods that naturally carry more sodium content in them to make that product last longer, which unfortunately has a negative effect on our health if that is what we eat for the most part in our diet. We also want to be mindful that too much sodium can affect our, our stress levels. Day-to-day -day life affects your stress. And if we also eat a diet high in sodium, and I'm using salt and sodium interchangeably, can also have a double negative impact on how hard our heart has to work. Fat, if we have whole milk or lots of ice cream or a, high amounts of butter in our foods, again, on a day-to-day -to -day basis, it can start to increase our bad cholesterol, cholesterol or LDL, which thus leads to uh, clogging our arteries, less healthy blood flow, more work for our hearts. We want to give our hearts a break by trying to have habits um, that encourage low stress, good sleep, 30 minutes of exercise most days of the week at least, the low sodium foods I listed, and also concentrating on low fat foods. A combination of all those work together to help us have a healthy heart for a healthy life.